Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. You're so pretty. <laughs> Rosa Belmont. I'm 22 and I'm from Ontario um, in the IE, so close to LA. A glow up means to me, um, I think having confidence, finding your inner self. When I realized, oh, I need to start taking care of myself and like loving myself is when I started feeling a lot better and a lot happier. So Rosa, on the count of three, I'm going to have you turn around. Okay. All right. So one, two, three. Oh. <laughs> I like that. That reminds me of me in high school. Okay, so this is my junior year of high school and I just cut my own bangs for some reason. <laughs> Did not turn out that great. And I remember looking in the mirror and being like, I look bad. And <laughs> so I was like, I'm gonna take a picture and just document this day and I'll probably look back and laugh at it one day. And here we are. <laughs> Did you keep your bangs or no? I definitely grew them out. <laughs> <laughs> not going back to them again? No, not anytime soon. <laughs> okay. I love soccer photos. I never played soccer, but they're so cute. I was on a club soccer team. I was a really big tomboy back then, so I did have this slick back hair like that, <laughs> which is kind of embarrassing. Definitely don't wear it like that anymore, but yeah. Do you still play soccer? Not so much. Um, I still am pretty athletic, but not soccer. I want to know what happened to the arm. What? I, yeah, I'm so curious. Um, I was an athlete in high school. I used to wrestle and I broke my arm during a wrestling tournament. I felt like straight on my elbow, got like a fracture like near the elbow. Oh my gosh, wrestling, I know is super hard. I commend you for that because that is such a hard sport. Is that a yearbook photo? I wanna know how long ago that one was. So I would say like fifth grade. Uh, oh. I did not know how to do my hair, neither did my mom. Um, so yeah, my dad let me wear pretty much whatever I wanted to school, which is more like tomboyish clothes. My mom actually paid me to wear a dress. <laughs> So you still have like the tomboy like um, feel to your style? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. And then the blue hair. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That reminds me of my short hair phase. So that was my blue hair phase. I have never gone to blue hair since. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to shave my head in the early years of high school. So mm -hmm. my way to rebel against that was I shaved all of my hair except for the top. And somehow I didn't get grounded for that. I was like, <laughs> all right, all great times back in high school. Yeah, my parents were the exact same way. I wasn't allowed to have short hair. Yeah, I swear dad just thinks that hair will never grow back once it's cut. No, like, yeah. It's permanent. Mm -hmm. You're done. <laughs> I love those kind of glasses. If I could wear glasses, I would wear glasses like that and the one at the end. Hi, so that was me in seventh grade. I was in Spain visiting my family and I had just been given like a digital camera for the first time. <laughs> and I was obsessed with taking pictures of like everything. Um, and that was just one of the selfies that I took while I was there. Those glasses I have since upgraded to a different style that I prefer. I like the glasses. I, I think they're so cute. It's a really cute picture. <laughs> Thank you. So, Rosa, I'm gonna have you eliminate one person. Okay, that's the hard part. Um, mm, I'm gonna go with contestant four. All right, so four, and then how do you walk around the curtain? Hi. Hi. <laughs> nice to meet you. Hi, Holly. Hi, Holly. Hi. Oh my God, I didn't ask you his name. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> You have a really nice smile. Oh, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Um, I didn't ask your guys' names, so I guess I'm gonna start with that. I'm really into astrology, so if you guys can tell me your name and then your sign. My name is Alyssa and I'm a Libra. I love Libras, Libras are like, they, they get along with people really well. Are you a people person? Yeah, I like to think I am, definitely. I like to go out, but I also do like to stay in some nights and just like watch some Netflix, but I do like to go out as well. <laughs> Hello, my name is Bree and I am a Sagittarius. Do you like to stay in or go out? Honestly, I'm a homebody. Oh. So the only time I ever really leave is skateboard or else I'm kind of at home playing video games. Oh, so are you like super duper into video games? Yeah, I like playing like FPS games like Apex, Valorant. Do you stream? I do, I do. 
stream. I, yeah. <laughs> What's your uh-huh. schedule like? Well, I typically either stream playing video games or I draw art. So I like doing art and animation. Very creative. <laughs> Thank very, you. <laughs> I suck at first person shooter games. Oh, I'm games. so bad, but I still oh, like okay. playing it. <laughs> yeah, I could not carry anybody, but I love playing them. <laughs> I'll like play one time and I'll lose and I'm like, I just, I'd rather not play anymore. <laughs> True, I get that. <laughs> My name is Mel and I'm a Scorpio. Did I ask you if you still wrestled? Um, no, I kind of want to get back into it. I also did jujitsu and boxing growing up in a non-intimidating way, but also kind of a Scorpio type of way. <laughs> what has been like the most enjoyable like from like wrestling and jujitsu? It's like there's sports that you don't need like anything outside of your body to be able to do. Uh-huh. So I always think that's like very interesting to me. And also just like knowing how to like defend myself. A very, very re- valid reason to go into like wrestling and things like that. It's a very helpful skill to have. Hi, I'm Sunny. I'm a Virgo and my rising is in Leo. Oh, I'm a Virgo too. <gasps> when is your birthday? September 7th. Mine's September 14th. So you're into astrology? Uh, no, but shout out to CoStar for oh. <laughs> reminding me all the time what I am. <laughs> <laughs> your aesthetic gives very much like me and I was a band kid in like high school. Were you in like any like... Oh, uh, I was a show choir kid. Oh, really? Me too. <laughs> <laughs> so you did the little dancing and singing. That's yeah. so cute. Do you still um, sing? I don't. I wish I did. I do still hang out with my little show choir friends though. We all play D&D together to keep the group going. That is so cool. Yeah, my best friend from middle school, she tried to get me to play D&D with her and I I was so overwhelmed. I was like, oh my gosh, like I don't know what's going on. It's a lot of math. (laughs) Thank you. My name is Selene and I'm an Aquarius sun, Gemini moon, and a Virgo rising. So Aquarius, did your birthday just pass? It did. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> um, what'd you do for your birthday? Um, I went out with my friends, went to this restaurant on like the water, and we went to like a bar that had a bunch of like arcade games, and like it was really cool. Do you like video games too? I do like video games. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. <laughs> I have been getting into Fortnite recently, <laughs> um, and like Destiny, and then some like RPGs like Horizon Zero Dawn. It's very fun. It's okay. I don't judge when it comes to like video <laughs> games or anything like that. Yeah. I read webtoons. I don't know if any of you guys oh. read webtoons. <laughs> yeah. Um, but every time that I bring that up, people are like, what are webtoons? And I'm like, mm, now I have to like sit there and explain what my silly little webtoons are. <laughs> yeah, so no. I- Judgment free zone here. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to go with contestant one. Hi, Hi. nice to meet nice you. To meet you. You're so pretty. I'm gonna give you something too. Let's go. <laughs> it was nice to meet you. <laughs> it was nice to meet you. Too. All right, we have one more. Contestant number three. I feel like I'm not an athletic person, so I think that's a little intimidating for me. Hi. Hi. I'm not not athletic anymore. Oh, I should ask that. Yeah, (laughs) I'm so sorry. You have such a pretty smile. Thank you. You're welcome. This is, I think, a question for everybody. Um, I want to know about your guys' style. Like, is it like consistent, or do you feel like you can fluctuate? I would say my style fluctuates, as you can see, like from my little picture. <laughs> um, I was a pretty big tomboy. Now I feel like I'm super hyper feminine, where I like really like girly stuff, pink stuff. I've really been into like, I think it's called Akubi, with like Y two K S. What got you into that style? Well, I kind of grew up around like Y2K and now that it's back in, it's kind of nostalgic for me, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I was super like tomboy emo back in the day. And then for some reason, I just went super hippie. It was overalls, bell bottoms. And then after high school, I got back into more emo stuff, but it's more like e-girl emo. So a lot more skirts and like ripped up fishnets. But I do still keep the bell bottoms whenever I want a little bit of flair. The bell bottoms are essential. I love bell bottoms. I feel like I'm in my, I don't know, cowboy-esque era. Beautiful, I dig it. (laughs) Thank you. My style is all over the map, honestly. Sometimes I wear like a dress, sometimes I want to be more, it's like more feminine, or sometimes I want to be more like masculine and wear like a baggy pant with like a loose shirt. But then I've also been really into like pirate core, cottage core, like the corsets, um, like mute tones. I love a little like monochrome fit, so I'm digging that recently. Oh. 
Do you guys have any red flags? <laughs> um, for me personally, it's somebody that's not motivated. I feel like there's a lot of people that will talk about being motivated, but then they don't fall through. And I feel like if you already start seeing it in the things that they say about themselves, they're gonna start doing that to you as well. Definitely. I, yeah, agreed, I totally agree. <laughs> <laughs> Two big things for me is good conversations as someone that like asks questions back and forth. I've been on countless first dates where like I've asked so many questions and they've given nothing back. And so like when that's the case, I'm like, I just can't, this is like talking to a wall right now. <laughs> yeah, no, I get that. I need to stop being so nice on these dates because it's like, I'm also trying to get to know you, but like you should try to get to know me. For me, my big one is dishonesty. Like, I am a very upfront person, so I like to have honest, open communication. But then my little one is like, if you're rude to like wait staff, not serving us, I think that's a big red flag. Oh my gosh, that one, yeah. yeah. The amount of times I've had to call out people mm -hmm. on the first date, I'm like, no, no, that's not okay. Yeah. You're not allowed to ask Rosa any questions. Um, do you play video games? I don't play any video games, no. Okay, All I okay. do is like phone <laughs> games. Um, True. So like Candy Crush, like mom games, you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> That's all that my like eyesight can handle. <laughs> True, understandable. <laughs> my question is, if you were to stay in for a night, what would be like your go-to movie and snack that you would have for the night? I'm in between um, Rocket Man and I think Howl's Moving Castle. Those are like my <gasps> comfort movies. I um, have two Howl's Moving Castle tattoos. It okay. is one of my favorites. <laughs> oh my God, I wanna see all your tattoos now. What? <laughs> and my snack, oh, I think Sour Patch Kids, the strawberry one specifically though, um, just cause it reminds me a lot of my brother and like when we um, watch movies together, that's what we get. That's so cute. <laughs> I like the little memory that goes along with no, it. No, yeah. <laughs> Very nostalgic. <laughs> so if you could only survive off of three ingredients, what would it be? Like three food items? Oh, that's a good question because I don't cook. I hate cooking. <laughs> um, okay, beans and rice. Um, <laughs> just because I feel like that's already what I do on mm -hmm. a daily basis. And oh, it's going to sound so like gym bro of me to say chicken, but I'm going to say chicken. <laughs> it's a staple. That's one of mine. I would say yeah. that. Yeah. I'm gonna go with number two. No reason in particular, just I already have someone in mind, and so yeah, that's why. So number two, I'm gonna have you walk around the curtain. Hi! You're, you're such a cute outfit on. I love your earrings. Oh, I brought you a little tulip. <laughs> Tulips are my favorite flowers. There you go, I just knew it was you too. Oh. Are you a hugger? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, and say your name on it, hear it from your face now. <laughs> Rosa. Rosa Sunny, lovely to meet you. Oh, I love your name, Sunny. Sunny, I know you mentioned your tattoos. Oh, okay, so how's moving castle up? So I have calcifer right here, and then a heart's a heavy burden. There's my D&D tattoo, and then I have no face right here as oh. well. So I got the whole collection. That's so cute. Your tattoos are kind of like the aesthetic that I'm going for. I just got my first tattoo not that long Aww. ago. Good to meet you. Thank okay. you for flowering. Of course. Um, and I'm gonna go with uh, the last one. Green. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I love your dress. Thank you. I like your tattoo. Thank you. I feel good. I feel like I asked questions that like allowed me to get to know them and like what I like in a partner. So contestant number one, walk around the curtain whenever you're ready. Nice to meet you. Here. Thank you. I'm so surprised you picked me, actually. Why? <laughs> um, I thought you would pick them before. Oh. You're so pretty, too. Oh, I'm sorry. You. That. Yeah. <laughs> You're so pretty. Are, are you a hugger? Am I what? A hugger. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, uh, I can hook. Okay. <laughs> I am honestly so surprised. I would not have picked this picture, um, but it was amazing. I was super awkward though then, so I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, she's so pretty. Um, uh, she's very much my type. I didn't like, I would have never expected me to pick somebody who's like my type, um, just based off of like getting to know them behind like the curtain. So I very much was surprised when she like walked around the corner. Oh, do I get to see your picture, your glove? Oh. Yeah, you go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is my 
that. <laughs> oh my god, you look adorable. Oh, thank you. Okay, good. So if you guys were to go out on a first date, what would that look like? If it were me picking personally, I like going to like arcades and stuff, but I feel like I, that's I like, would so go. Oh, an arcade. Yeah, okay, like an horrible. arcade bar. Yeah, or like even like a maid cafe, but I don't want to pick something that like you wouldn't like. No, I'm the exact same way. Okay. Combining both of like mm -hmm. what we like would be cool. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm.